Hello everyone and welcome back to Crafting with Kara. Today we're going to use paint and if you have no painting skills whatsoever this is a really good project for you. We're going to create a type of abstract painting um, using a paper stencil, um, paint of course, and an old card like a gift card or type something like that. So let's get started. You could do whatever you want but today I'm going to make a K. I have um, a piece of wood here that I painted black for a craft um, that I did in the past and I ended up not needing this, so I'm just gonna reuse it. Uh, you could use wood, canvas, you could use a thick piece of cardstock, whatever you like. But our first step today is going to be to cut out our design and it might be a little tricky because we're going to cut the inside out. Instead of cutting the outside, we're cutting the inside so we have a background to hold while we paint. All right, so I'm gonna cut the inside of my K out. Which might become a little messy, but we'll see. I just printed this K out from online. If you want to draw your own, if you feel confident to draw your own, that's totally fine. But I was never good at drawing bubble letters myself. That'll be fine. All right, so now what you're gonna do is place it on top of your canvas or whatever you're using, and we're gonna tack it down. So I'm gonna grab some tape. Okay, so I have some tape here that I'm gonna use to tack down the edges of my K. And then later on, we're gonna take it off, of course. So there we go, we've got that. So this doesn't move. And what we're gonna do now is place our paint on the edge of the top of your picture. I'm gonna use some primary colors here. And you know what? We are going to Put some paper towels down. So we don't get too messy. Now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put, place some colors at the top here. Like little globs of color. And you can use whatever colors you want. I'm going to use blue and yellow. And then hopefully when I, when it mixes, you know, I'll have some green in there too. I'm only going to use two colors, but of course you could use as many as you like. do is you're gonna take something like an old gift card or something like that I have an old card here um, it doesn't have to be old because you know the paint will wash off of it and you are going to slide the paint down to the edge now because my K has this little 
bit right here. I'm gonna be very careful and go on the slower side. Um, but yeah, so we're going to drag the paint down like so. to create this, well, dragged effect. Now I'd also be careful down by the edge so you could keep your shape. Maybe you could go up a bit. And there you go, a little bit more green than originally planned. And as you can see, my paint's on there. I got some on my hands. Good thing I put a paper towel down. And I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit before I take off my paper. All right, so I'm super impatient and I took off my paper before it was dry. Um, and I'm glad I did because I know that now I have to fix this right here and I'm just gonna paint around the K. Um, this is because I didn't have that part of my stencil tacked down good enough. But so this craft is to show you how easy it is to do a cool abstract type painting um, especially if you don't have any skills or are not confident in your skills. But yeah, so I'm going to fix this at a later date. I still really like how it came out. I mean, I love the green coming through with the blue and the yellow. And yeah. Okay guys, here's my finished product. I ended up painting over the black with purple because that's what I had on hand. And I still really like how it came out. I put the paint on really thick to match how thick the paint was in my K. Um, thank you for joining me today. I had a lot of fun doing this really simple paint craft.